What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Blu-ray and DVD update where I'm going to tell you the movies I picked up over the last two months. Now, if you're new to my channel and you have not seen any of the other ones I've done like these, the reason why I do two months, unlike everyone else who does at the end of every month, it's because since you're new to my channel, I've been talking about a lot that I'm saving up for my dream car. So I've been saving every penny I can and I've been waiting like on markdowns to buy them unless if I really need them. Such as a movie, couple movies I want to mention right here that I don't have in this pile that I did buy, but my dad's borrowing them right now. And if you really wanted me to, I can show you in the next uh, Blu-ray DVD update, but it won't be until like February. But the two that I picked up is Better Watch Out and Dunkirk on 4K. Better Watch Out was one of the movies that I was just completely surprised by. I did not expect it to be that good of a movie. If you have not seen it and you love the horror movies, definitely check it out. I didn't expect the twist that was going to be in the movie. Highly enjoyed it. I can't wait till he's done with this so I can watch it again even though Christmas is over with now. But I just want to rewatch it so bad because I highly enjoyed it. And the other one that I did get, as I mentioned, Dunkirk on 4K, the picture quality was just amazing. The sound was really insane. And it was one of my favorite war movies because it seemed more realistic. Like when you watch Platoon and Saving Private Ryan, you'll get some character development here and there from characters. And this one, you didn't get none because you're not really given that chance in a real war. If you're thrown into a war, you're not going to be sitting around talking about like, hey, my name is Frank and I come from Zimbabwe or something like that. No, you don't have the time. You're just trying to run and survive. And that movie was intense. If you got a good surround sound setup, check it out, crank it up. I think you'll enjoy it. So now let me get into the ones that I do have right here. First one that I got right here is Kingsman, The Golden Circle. And I highly enjoyed this movie too. Heard quite a bit of bad reviews here and there, just a lot of mixed ones. I heard it wasn't as good as the first. So I, I had to get this at full price. So I went ahead and picked it up and I don't regret buying it at full price. I highly enjoyed it. Now, the only one thing that I was just kind of disappointed in when they had Channing Tatum in it, I was like, they only had a minute, it seemed for a couple minutes and he was done. I understand the character, he was frozen and all that because of the, well, I'm not gonna say because of what in case if you haven't seen it, because I hate spoiling movies for people, but I just would have liked to see him more because I'll admit, I love Channing Tatum. He makes me laugh like crazy. I would have loved to have seen him a lot more in this movie. That was my only flaw, but other than that, it was a fun movie. Definitely worth checking out, especially on 4K. It looked really good. Next one that I got right here, I really highly, 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 highly enjoyed the anime, and I enjoyed this movie, Ghost in the Shell. Now, I know there's a lot of diehard fans of that anime who were upset at this movie. Now, to me, I can't put that anime up there with like Halloween or Scream for me or even Days to Confuse, which is my favorite movie of all time. It's because I didn't grow up on anime and it took me forever to see that movie. I actually seen it, as a matter of fact, I can't remember if it was this year or if it was last year when I actually seen that. But point being, I appreciated it, I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed this. And I wasn't a big anime fan growing up because I never really had the chance to get into it. But two of them that I was shown and I really loved, I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, I think it was like Fist of the North Star. I really highly enjoyed that. And the other one that I really liked was uh, Berserk because I love that character Guts. I'm sorry if I'm saying the names wrong, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. It's been a long time. I'd say about eight years since I've seen those two, but I really enjoyed those and I enjoyed that movie. And Pretty much every single one of these that I'm about to name off, I got during that Black Friday sale. So all these were under 10 bucks. So I didn't really waste too much money there because there's only two of them I have not seen yet. Let me get back into it. Now, when I was growing up, my friend Matt loved this show and I never got into it because I was more of a fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000. I really loved that show. I couldn't get into anything else. That was my show back then. I loved it. And Power Rangers never got into it. So this was only like, I think like eight bucks or seven or something like that. So I picked it up. Man, one of the things that I really loved about the show back then when he used to watch it was that theme song. That theme song was killer. I loved it on guitar and sometimes I play it. So warning, as you see right here, turn your volume down. I'm not a good mixer, so it sounds like crap. So here it is.
I do know how to play the whole song, the little shredding part at the beginning, well, the tapping part, I should say. I know how to play it, but I'm not really good at recording myself playing the guitar and uploading it because the microphone on my camera sucks and it was like kind of staticky, so sorry if it didn't sound too good, but I'm working with what I got. I don't have a good mixer or anything to plug it into or interface, whatever you want to call it. But I was really disappointed at the music when it came to it when they started playing the Power Rangers theme. I was like, did it have the same feeling as the show did? I just, I don't know, maybe it's my metalhead talking because I love the riffs and the guitar in the original um, show. But overall, this movie was intense with the surround sound. A lot of bass action going on. If you really want to have your house rumbling, watch this movie cranked up. But overall, I didn't really get into it. I mean, I liked it for the surround sound. I liked it for the visuals, but it was the characters kind of were annoying to me because that one girl was just so emo and it showed too much of her and I was just getting kind of kind of mad at seeing her cuz she was way too emo for me. I didn't really like that character. So, next one, I can't believe I dropped that. I was just trying to flip it around is Kong Skull Island. I kind of enjoyed this movie. I don't know much to say about it, but I hear that they're going to try to cross this with Godzilla. I hope they do. That would be awesome. But I didn't really get into Kong growing up. I was more of a Godzilla fan. So overall, I enjoyed it. Sounded pretty good in surround sound as well. Next one up, sad movie. Oh my gosh, I almost thought I was going to cry a couple times in this movie. I liked it. I love Woody in this movie. I love him as a bad guy in this movie, and especially out of the furnace. That is War for the Planet of the Apes. I really like this trilogy that went on. I thought it was fantastic. Each film was great. My favorite is probably the second one still. I don't know. That's a hard one to choose. But overall, this was a great, great, great movie. And I highly enjoyed it. And the next one I picked up, let me show this one first. Haven't even watched it yet, but it was two bucks on DVD, and that is Vacation. Now, I really love the old ones, like uh, the one with Chevy Chase and all that. I love those, but I have not seen this. I haven't even really looked into it about reviews or anything, so I don't know what I'm getting into, but for two bucks, I couldn't pass this up, so let me know, or not just that movie, but all these movies that you've seen probably, if you've seen them, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And the last one I got right here is an American Horror Story. And this is season five. Yeah, season five. Sorry, I was wrong. That was six. Now, yes, I do have them all, one through six, right here. I pick them up every single Black Friday. Uh, well, of course, I wait till the crowd's over with. And when I get out of work, I go there to get it because there's only like one other person there with me every time to get the leftovers. I got them all right here. Have not watched an episode yet, still. I'm trying to. I was about to not too long ago, but then I picked up Stranger Things and I was told to get into that as soon as possible, so I watched it. Glad I did. I really thought that show was really great. But I was about to watch this and, you know, that got in the way. But before that, I ended up getting The Sopranos for my birthday, so I ended up watching that. So I'm trying to, folks. Please don't be mad at me. I'm trying to get into this. I hear so many great things about these seasons, so I'll try my but let me know what your favorite season is below and please don't spoil anything and that's going to do it for this video i appreciate everyone stopping by and watching and i beg you please to have mercy on me on these movies and shows i haven't seen yet by not spoiling it for me because i hate it when people spoil movies haven't seen the new star wars yet and i have not seen the new thor can't wait to get that i got it pre-ordered on the steelbook 4k from best buy but i just i don't like it when people spoil movies i don't like watching these trailers all the time i always watch only the first one and that's it because they spoil too much of it but since i haven't seen the new star wars i this is just for example if someone told me like hey at the end they just all called it truce and went to roosters and got some hot wings really i just don't like it when people do that it's like come on that takes the fun out of enjoying a movie because you're going into it to watch a movie to be entertained but when you know it's coming it ruins it. And for the ones on Instagram who's been asking they want another Keep Halloween Alive, I'm going to try to get it done on Monday. So stay tuned for that video. I want to try my best to get it out there for you because there's a few things I want to be doing in that video by showing you basically what my sister made me and hanging up a sign and all that. So stay tuned. You'll see it when it comes up. I'll see you guys in that video. I'll check you later.